Will be spoken here today are sacred. Although these words are not what joins these two, indeed, it is not I who is joining these two at all, nor is it the ceremony. We are not here to mark the start of a relationship, we are here to recognize a bond that already exists. Julie and Trevor have joined themselves together, and we have gathered so that they might bear witness before us of the oneness that has grown up between them. Here, they will affirm this oneness and this dedication, formally and publicly, as they have already affirmed it to each other, as they now exist as one in their own eyes, so may they exist in yours. This union has already occurred in the giving and receiving of their love, and in the myriad ways in which they have entwined their lives together. We are here to witness their statements of love and commitment. This is an act as ancient as the human race and as new as each morning, for it speaks of the past and of the future, of the life of the individual and the existence of the community. Marriage is a going forth, a giving up of one life in search of a greater fulfillment than either can achieve alone, risking what they are for what they might be. Julie and Trevor come now to declare their love and solemnize their commitment. Today, we celebrate their faith in the continuance of that growth as they come to be united in marriage. Each person present here has been invited because he or she is a special person in the lives of Julie and Trevor. You have come to rejoice with them, to hear their vows, their hopes, their plans, to extend good wishes, and to be reminded of the loves and commitments that are a part of your own lives. Will you therefore do all in your power to uphold these two in the marriage they are about to undertake? If so, say, we will. We will. Do you, Julie, solemnly declare that you do not know of any lawful impediments or you may not be joined in matrimony to Trevor? The reply is, I do declare. I do declare. Do you, Trevor, solemnly declare that you do not know of any lawful impediments while you may not be joined in matrimony to Julie? I do declare. <laughs> Julie and Trevor, you have invited us to witness the happiness you have found in each other. Are you ready to make the pledges to which you commit yourselves to each other in love? The reply is, we are. We, we are. are. <laughs> Julie and Trevor, it is a great joy and pleasure for me to be standing here with you on this momentous day, sharing in your marriage ceremony and witnessing to the lifelong commitment you are making to one another this day. I must remind you that the vows you are about to say to one another belong entirely to you. 
The words I speak have no magical powers, and nothing I can say or do on this day can ultimately make your marriage endure with beauty, fidelity, and joy. Only you, by the integrity and diligence of your love, can make these vows last. So it is not to lofty words or institutions even that we appeal at this hour of commitment, but rather to the resources which you two can draw, draw from deep within yourselves, the deep well of human need, the need to live united and loving and complete before a broken and imperfect world. Trevor, will you give yourself to Julie, to be her husband, to love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I shall. Julie, will you give yourself to Trevor, to be his wife, to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I shall. <laughs> you know the exchange of the rings? I believe you have a ring there. With this hand, I shall lift your sorrows. Your cup will never empty, for I will be your wine. <clears throat> with, the, uh, with, with this candle, I shall light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. Julian Trevor, you have told me and all of your friends and family members who have gathered to share this moment of joy with you that you deeply love one another and wish to live together now, seeking an ever richer, ever deeper relationship. You have formed your own union in friendship and respect for one another and in love. It is therefore with great joy, by the power vested in me by the province of Ontario, I pronounce you husband and wife. We may seal your union with a kiss. Thank <laughs> you. 